hey, do you need to learn how to do curvy shapes, more complex shapes with the sweep command? Coming up. Hey, Tyler Beck with Tech and Espresso. Covering the Fusion platform, helping you design and build faster. So take a second to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, just, just hit those buttons down below. That helps grow this channel and that helps me make more videos. So maybe you've gotten the hang of extrudes and revolves, great. Those are crucial features for building most models. But also, you need to know how to do a sweep. A sweep is slightly more complex, but you'll find it on really basic shapes, basic models as well. An example of that is a mug. A mug is simply a revolve, but it's got a complex handle. You can't do that with just an extrude. You'd want to use a sweep. So how do you sweep? It's pretty easy. It's just two different sketches, two different planes. Two different sketches, two different planes. So here we are in Fusion, and what I've got is a cane. What you'll notice is it's a simple circular profile that follows a straight path, but then curves. And we couldn't do that curve with an extrude, and that's where the sweep comes in. So on the front plane, I'm gonna sketch the circle. And I'll, here's the kicker, finish the sketch, because that's the first sketch. And now I wanna start a second sketch. I'll select the plane that I wanna work with, Turn these on. That's the front, so I want to work on maybe the right or top plane. I'll make this a little longer. Okay, so that's the flat part, but the important part is the curve. So we'll do a curve, an arc. Be sure to finish it out giving that a vertical relationship. There we are, they're lined up. Let's throw on a dimension. Okay, so now I have two different sketches, two different planes. I finished that out. You can see that they're perpendicular to each other. They line up, so you never wanna draw them both on the front plane. So I draw a circle and I draw the path, it won't work. So what I wanna do is do the sweep. Profile, the path is the curvy shape, done. Okay, let's do another example, a little bit more complex. So one important thing I always like to do, I try to connect it to the origin. That makes my life a little bit easier down the road so that I know where to connect the other sketches. That one's connected to the origin. And now on a different plane, I'm gonna start the next sketch and I'm gonna do this magnet shape. Okay, I'll select, I'll accept the sketch, and I've got a rectangle following this path. Not terribly complicated, there's the profile, the path follows this shape, and then I could adjust the profile as needed to create this shape. Okay, so let's build something a little bit harder. Let's do a paper clip. So I've actually seen people struggle with this one and maybe it was just getting all the dimensions correct and all the relationships correct. Maybe that's what the real struggle was, but it was interesting to watch people try to get this figured out. So as I sketch this out, I'll give it my dimensions. Okay, what still moves? It looks like, ooh, this is an important rule of thumb. Always add that tangency between your arcs and lines, otherwise they're just gonna go crazy on you. That tangency keeps that shape. Most likely that's what you're designing, that's your intent. If it's not, then make the adjustment, obviously. You know what, I'd like to be able to adjust the distance between these two, so I'll get rid of that dimension that's holding me back and I'll select these two horizontal lines 
and change the spacing. Okay, so that looks good. I'll accept the path and then at the origin, I'm gonna sketch perpendicular, I'm gonna sketch a circle. That's my profile shape, give it a dimension. Looks good, it's perpendicular. I have two different sketches, two different planes, and then I'll, I'll do a sweep. And there, we've got a paperclip. That doesn't look that good to me. Maybe I should grab some dimensions, go grab a paperclip, some calipers, and get that right. But maybe we'll do that on the next. I've actually got some stuff I wanna show you on that one, so I'll do that on the next sweep video when we cover that. Question of the day, what are you using sweep for? What are you trying to get it to do? How's it not working? Be sure to check out the beginner series on Fusion 360. I've got that link down in the description below. And be sure to hit that subscribe, hit that like button, post a comment. I appreciate it. And see you in the next video.